Hi there, my name is Aaron Short and welcome to my YouTube channel and today I'm looking at the best acoustic guitar for under $500, in my opinion, the Yamaha FG830. So for a while now I've wanted to find a guitar that I can recommend to new guitar players or people on a budget. When you look around at the guitar market now there's so many great quality instruments at low prices, there really are, and I've played some. I had a guitar on my channel that was around 50 bucks. Now that's great for a child or someone that's really unsure about the guitar and wants to try one first of all but I believe if you're going to learn the guitar you need to find an instrument that plays great sounds great and feels great and I feel this guitar ticks all of those boxes and it's way below 500 bucks this guitar is around 320 dollars so yes it's very important to buy a guitar that inspires you so if you want to go straight for your Martin HD28 because your heroes played one if you want to go for a rain song carbon fiber guitar because you want to carry it around everywhere you go and practice all the time or if you want to buy a Fender Acoustasonic Stratocaster like this because you come from an electric guitar background then do it. If you can afford it and it inspires you and you'll play more get that guitar. If you're on a budget or if you just want a great guitar for a great price check out this Yamaha FG830. Let me show it to you. Why is this guitar so impressive? Well, first of all, let's talk about the looks. In my opinion, this guitar looks really nice. On the top here, we have a solid piece of Sitka spruce with a very nice wood grain to it. And on the back and sides, we have solid rosewood. Again, with a very nice grain. Look at that on the back. Looks awesome, and a glossy finish as well. The neck is a satin finish and feels very, very nice in the hand and the tuners are very high quality, they tune really well, they keep tune, and I have to say the intonation on the guitar is perfect. So I think the guitar looks awesome, everything about it just looks very classy. Now what about the sound? Well inside the guitar we have scallop bracing. That's pretty rare on a guitar of this price point. It makes the top very responsive, the low end very rich, and it's got a nice high end as well. I think it sounds really great. The rosewood guitars have that real punchy strong sound, great for bluegrass, but I love strumming them as well because you get a really powerful sound. The guitar ships with 12 gauge strings. Some reviews mention they don't like the strings. Well I changed them out for Martin strings and they sound a little bit brighter because they're newer strings, but I think they're very comparable. I think the strings that the guitar ships with are awesome. I made a quick recording so you can hear the difference. Let's take a listen to that right now. So as you can hear, the Martin strings do sound brighter, probably because they're newer, but the strings that come with the guitar are fine. Don't rush to take them off, they're great strings. The nut width on this guitar is slightly narrower than most guitars. Most guitars have a one and three quarter inch nut width now. This has a slightly narrower nut. Now if you're a beginner, I think that's a good thing because it's easier to play your chords and get your hand on the guitar. So I think that could be a good thing and some professionals prefer that as well. So bear that in mind when you check this guitar out. I think it works really nicely with the neck shape. The neck shape and that narrow nut just makes the guitar very, very comfortable to play. The action out of the box was also great. They actually include a truss rod tool with the guitar. So it was slightly on the high side for me. I gave it a little turn inside. Be very careful, be gentle. But I did that and now it plays great. If you find the action too hard to play, either put 11 gauge strings on the guitar or take it to an experienced guitar tech and ask them to lower the action, ask them to make it easier to play. Along those lines, some people in the reviews online have said that the bridge pins, the saddle and the nut are plastic. Now these are very easy things to upgrade. If you'd like me to do that in a future video to show you the difference, let me know in the comments below. But I have to say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. 
I think the guitar sounds good, so why change anything? <laughs> It would be interesting to try a bone saddle and new bridge pins, but I think it sounds absolutely fine as it is. It sounds really great. So is there anything that I don't like about the guitar? Well, the construction is mostly flawless, but there is a slight gap at the nut here, very, very slight gap. That's the only thing that I could find on the whole guitar. Even the inside of the guitar is really nicely done. I've got some pictures that I took with my iPhone. I'll put them on the screen now. As you can see, it's very clean inside and that shows awesome attention to detail as well. The only thing I thought about the tone of this guitar is that while it sounds loud and clear and boomy, everything that I like, it does feel and sound a little tight. Now, that's not to knock the guitar. This guitar is selling out so quickly right now that I imagine this one came straight from the factory. This is probably brand new. So what you want to do is play the guitar. It's wood, it will mature, it will open up. I believe that if you play this guitar a lot, it could go from being an amazing guitar for less than $500 to just a fantastic guitar in its own right. And that's pretty exciting. The guitar does not come with any kind of case. I wouldn't expect it to for this price point, but if you're gonna carry it around town, do get yourself a high quality gig bag. And if you're gonna store it at home in those winter months or in a dry climate, do get yourself a nice hard shell case where you can lock it in the case with a humidifier to keep it safe. So overall, I'm incredibly impressed with this guitar, not just for the price, which is pretty amazing. I'm still in shock to be honest, but also just as a guitar. And I'm so happy that I can say that. It's not just a great guitar for the price, it's just a great guitar. I am super, super impressed, and I really cannot believe how good this is. I've been playing it the last few days, and not once have I thought to myself, this is a beginner's guitar. I just keep thinking, well, this is a guitar, it's a nice guitar. And that really says a lot, that's super impressive. So if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and ring that notification bell to see when I post a new video or go live. And if you've played one of these guitars, or if you own one of these guitars, please let me know in the comments below what you think of the guitar. Also, if you know of any other great guitars at this price point that you think might be better than this, well, let me know that as well. I'm happy to check them out. Thank you for watching and supporting my channel. I really appreciate it. I hope to see you again in the future. Please be well, and I'll see you next time. Till then, keep strumming. Bye-bye. <laughs>